life. Big blank canvases. And what happened next? Up to Roscoe. Took a few kitchen knives, didn't he? Yeah, slit his wrists, died a, 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 you know, a very messy and colourful way, yeah? So, <laughs> messy and colourful. <laughs> Kandinsky as well, another fantastic artist to look at for this. Um, the last point I'd like to make, I mean, if we've been looking at colour theory, I'd love to have more time to do this really, but we've run out of time and praise. We can analyse things like Kandinsky. Kandinsky worked with Jung, actually. Um, uh, Jung and Kandinsky were partners for a long time. And Jung and Kandinsky came with this idea of thought forms, which is the idea that feelings and thoughts had physical shapes and colours. This was the birth of abstract art. Um, what I often ask students to do, which is another Freudian exercise, is, is a naming exercise, giving things names, giving things titles. Um, so it's a great thing to do with, with art, with abstract art particularly. Um, I'll often introduce a painting like this. I'll get them to use language, you know, what, what was Kandinsky feeling? What must Kandinsky have been feeling you know, at this time? You know, these sort of past moments, things like that. And then getting them to name the painting, giving it a title. Why have they named it this way? What do the different sections of the painting mean? What do the colours mean? Here we also have this kind of positive, energetic, you know, uh, movement painting. And I'm sure you can also think of some sort of title connected with that. Anyway. So, approach your classes from a Freudian perspective. Accept and embrace mistakes and slips and explore why they happen. Encourage your students to understand that nothing is truly forgotten. Let your students lead the classes and produce the materials from the dark recesses of their own perverted minds. Create balance and quality in the classroom. Yeah? Um, you know, by doing this, you know, you're letting the student take the dominant position here. Encourage free flow thought and association and disassociation and explore personal memories and dreams. This is where your best materials will come from. For those moments when you need to add a little bit of energy, a little bit of difference to your classes. Thank you very much. I must finish up.